All right, y'all. How y'all doing? Hope everybody doing okay. We we are on the Young Thug uh, uh, attorneys uh, request a mistrial uh, because of the state. Uh, the witnesses they really just to me trying to find somebody to put uh, in this Rico, but Mister Steele don't agree with a lot of stuff that state supposed to have when they did some homework. To me, they didn't win. To get, they didn't go get no homework they went and got someone that gonna uh do a research on the case you know what i mean i think they trying to let this uh cast wing in uh until uh trump try over with with uh fanny willis and i know y'all said what fanny willis has to do with it. she has a lot to do with this they want to take if they can't take trump down they want to take young thug down but young thug don't run these streets i get a lamp so I don't know why they chose him, but it's a lot of bloods and a lot of cribs out here, you know, and it's 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 something that you have to really get deep into it. It's crime still been going on, you know, since he's been locked up, but ain't nobody saying nothing about that. But let's go with this. Respond to Mr. Seals' uh, assertions about um, the indictment uh, and YSL being a... Uh, the, 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 our witness testifying about them being a um, criminal street gang. Yes, Your Honor. So first, there was the assertion that um, Investigator Racy had to be a expert to talk about the fact that his investigation led that YSL was a gang. That he does not need to be an expert. That is what his investigation revealed. In within the indictment, Your Honor, while the specific charge identified the blood gang. When you look at the preamble or the background of this indictment, especially the RICO charge, it talks about YSL and YSL being a blank, a blood gang subset. And my next question I was getting ready to pose to him before the objection is, you said subset, tell me what do you mean? So he could have elaborated as to what was contained further in the indictment, which was in the charge it says blood gang, however, um, he knew and learned from his investigation that YSL was a gang. Why is this important? If you listen to this call, Your Honor, he talks about in the indictment that it said YSL Enterprise. And so at that moment, he asked Amina to put him on the paperwork. So it looks like, well, he tells her, I need you to put me on the paperwork. And then later on, he tells his girlfriend, remember to tell Amina put me on the paperwork so it doesn't look like street business. And so what I have to get the witness to testify and the jury can believe or not is, well, what did you understand it to be before? And why is that significant that he needed to be placed on paperwork so it can look like it's not street business? Yeah, I, I, I remember us talking about this last week, so. And so it puts yeah. the call in context and that's why we uh, went to that line of questions. Anything further, um, Mr. Steele first and then Mr. Schultz? Yes. Because I did cover this last week. We covered this um, already, so. Your Honor, I, I don't understand how Mr. Williams is having a trial that's fair. I'm sorry. I don't understand, from my perspective, Mr. Williams is not having a fair trial. I cannot cross-examine Mr. Winfrey. Now, this witness is telling us what he means by having things not look like street uh, street kid. I, I remember. Okay. Okay. Um, so I don't understand how any of this is coming in. Amina Dyack is not a witness that the state is calling at all. I don't have a burden. You keep telling me, which I know the law, but you keep telling me that. But it feels like I have a burden because I have to clean all this mess up. And the if, you choose, if you choose to do so, sir, and the and, and, it, and and that's your your characterization of it. So the indictment. Um, quote unquote redacted is a farce. This thing has, I don't know if you looked at your copy, there's blanks here that identify Jeffrey Williams. I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have to be a deceased person not to realize that the indictment is charging Jeffrey Williams in it. And the state just goes on like, this is no big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a big deal. This entire case should have witnesses who are competent to be called exactly. and they don't. I again object. This gentleman is testifying. He has no basis in saying what Jim and Winfrey meant or didn't mean. The recording.
according to your ruling speaks for itself. He shouldn't be able to interpret it, just like I can't interpret it. And it was never even done. What the jurors won't know is that Amina Dayab didn't give any paperwork at all. Yeah, in fact, was... what they don't know is that Jeffrey Williams, because the state won't probably play it, a recording with Jeffrey Williams where this detective asked Jeffrey Williams, does Jimmy Winfrey work for you as your road manager? And Mr. Williams laughs and said, are you ridiculous? I have real legitimate people. So all of this is the state of Georgia getting out a theory that is not based in fact and that should not come into this courtroom. This entire That's true. Since, since the state has been allowed to say, does this help the investigation? This case has gone south. Maybe it was south already, but it has gone so south. I can't do anything. Those are all my objections. I'm moving for a mistrial. I have no idea why this gentleman got to say Amina Dyer works on the legitimate side of the business. We're presumed innocent. He, he has no right to say that. And then this indictment is all here, say, under the Brown case, State versus Brown, which the Sonoma Court agreed with, yet the state's using the indictment as a weapon. They're saying it says it in the indictment. Mr. Winfrey played Alfred. He's not testifying. You let it in as a statement against his penal interest. Well, that's only against him. He's not on trial. It can't be a co-conspirator statement because it is a statement that does not further any supposed conspiracy because it spills the beans. So for all of those reasons, I mean, we could just use one, but for all of those reasons, I named three, four, five, or six, I'm respectfully asking the court to strike his, all of his testimony that goes into anything anyone else said and the investigation, and, and let's wipe this slate clean, and please, I just want to go forward and have people to cross-examine. This is the second time you've made the same argument, sir. I, I, I understand, it, and, that, and it's, your, it's your right to do so. All right. Unless you have anything else, uh, Mr. Sharp. They don't like for Mr. Sharp to talk. Of course, I agree with what Mr. Still just said about um, Jimmy Winfrey's plea being come coming in as as evidence against the rest of us when he is not taking the stand. But I'm going to go one further than Mr. Steele um, because. In their line of questioning, they are asking about the indictment that Jimmy Winfrey pled to. They and the jurors are following what they're talking about. They're asking about the indictment, their indictment, the plea, the plea. And then they say, and what gang was involved? And then the investigator is going to say YSL when when we can all look at this indictment, which shouldn't be coming in in evidence, in, in my estimation. But if, if we're going to let it in over our objection at least let's be honest about what it says mm -hmm. it doesn't say ysl he pled to the count the preamble of, say ysl he pled to, does the preamble say ysl no preamble, does the preamble answer my question please no sure the preamble does but okay not the all right count, so you not have to read okay pled to. you have to read the preamble in conjunction That's, with the, with the, with the count the it's account. just like it's similarly situated to the to, to the preamble that you have in this indictment okay, but he pled to specific counts your honor okay but that the doesn't mean that the factual predicate of the of the preamble doesn't apply right well i i, I suggest uh, that you, you answer the question or not? i disagree with you completely. does it apply or not no it doesn't okay All it right. does not he okay. pled to specific counts and, okay and, and the state really missed an opportunity because they should have made this indictment they took they turned his mic off, y'all. We are not defending ourselves. They against. turned the mic off. Okay. All right. Your second argument as to this as well. Okay. Anything else, um Ms. Holton? Yeah, I think the state has said it given the jail call that we just listened to. Mr. Winfrey himself referenced the indictment and referenced him reading of it. And so all of my questions followed through based upon that jail call. Given that this was an open pending investigation at the time that this jail call was made, this is relevant area of what was relevant to Asian Racy at the time where he heard, heard this jail call, which is there was an indictment, it was open. And now in the midst of his investigation, Mr. Winfrey is asking to be put on the paperwork.
we can infer it's the legitimate side of the business. Now, Mr. Steele wants to argue that Ms. Diop was not a part of the legitimate business. They've been arguing throughout this entire trial that YSL is a, rate, is a music label. So that would be the legitimate side of the business. If their argument is no longer that that doesn't exist, then we can move on. But for the purpose of this call, this call references him trying to get put on paperwork so it doesn't look like street business. Paperwork, legitimate, street business, not legitimate. And so we are trying, His this became relevant to him, Your Honor, um, and given all the reasons that we have stated before, this wasn't spilling She's not even listening. She ran out of my Conspiracy, out. which was him shooting at the bus um, involving uh, Mr. Dwayne Carter. So for all the reasons stated, Your Honor, right. we would exit. He says, overrule the objection. I'm going to overrule the objection, Mr. Steele. I will give you a continued objection. I've also... Oh, well, you know he was going to overrule it. ...for mistrial once again. I'll also note that you have asked the court for a mistrial again before the positing of the next question. So, with that... I'm joining the host for mistrial, and yeah. also I'm asking you, it's great to continue the objection. Uh, yeah, the Harvey rule applies unless unless otherwise stated. So it would apply for all of you. Um, the motion for mistrial as well as the continued objection. I'll ask for a motion to sever. Why is that? Okay, y'all, in this segment right here, um, uh, we're going to get into uh, the, the tour bus. Okay. Uh, they're going to be the suspect. They are going to uh, discuss the. Uh, the vehicle uh, used in the, in, in the shooting. It's supposed to be like the jail call hall. Jail call um, recording that y'all gonna listen to, okay? Going on. You trying to find uh, over there where they uh where the car is, they want it, they want to want it moved. Oh, they yeah, yeah. Well, I talked to Richard, but Richard don't know who got the key. No, nah, the key in my weapon. You can go in my room and get the extra key. But this is what I want you to do. Uh, call the man from the dealership, Kayla, right? Yeah. Yeah, and tell Richard to uh, take the car. That's how I want to let Kayla uh, take out the back. It's on the ties or not. No, you don't want to do nothing after that car because Bank of America is looking for it. Damn, yeah. do you forget how they... Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So what, we need to turn the car in? We don't do, and we definitely need to turn it in now. All right, we, uh, you want to wait back get up? We'll go ahead and do it. Well, I'll see what we, uh, uh, I'll go back down and look for the key, so we start to do it. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, where is it? Huh? Where can I get out of the way Yeah, Jim, you know what? Yes, ma'am. You don't need to be saying too much. It's because they record everything you say. I know there ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm just asking you. Okay. And that car, you're right about what you're saying, but you're like, I'm doing something. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Well, whatever. I'm just trying to see if they record everything you say. I know that. It's time to turn it around and move again. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's true. 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 June fifth. Okay. And why? And let me ask you. This is a uh, the relevant portion. Did you provide the entirety of the call to the state? Yes. Why was this call relevant for you in your investigation? The discussion of uh, the vehicle that we believed was involved in the it, incident at hand. Now, did you he was the male, Mister Winfrey? Yes. At the time, did you know who the female he was speaking to, who that was? Uh, I mean, I suspected who it was. Uh, later, get confirmation through the investigation, but I suspected who it was. Okay. When you confirmed who it was, who was who's the woman who's on the call? Uh, Mr. Winfrey's aunt. 
<laughs> now, did you hear Mr. Winfrey in the call make reference to the studio? Yes. Do you know what, um, did your investigation reveal what studio that car was at prior to it not being at the studio? I believe it to be at the vault at the Metropolitan Parkway address. And in listening to that call, did you hear a reference for um, someone named Paul? Yes. Did your investigation ever reveal who Paul was? That's going to be um, Mr. Winfrey's uncle who's deceased, but the vehicle was registered to him. It was registered to Paul? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we talked about the date of the call. Do you remember the time of this call? Uh, we said it was at 8.40 p.m. And this is in 2015? Correct, 2015. What address was the com the vehicle registered to? Um, it was Adams Drive, 1670 Adams Drive in Atlanta. And what type of car was registered to an individual by the name of Paul? It's the Camaro in question. It's Camaro... Z28. It was a 2015, like it's brand new. Mm. And did you hear them speak of um, the Bank of America? Yes, I did. Did you learn if Bank of America financed this vehicle? It, they did. It was financed by Bank of America, correct? I want to take you to the next call, which is on June 6th. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the car. Get the mics up, y'all. Let's get the mics up. It's getting good. And for the record, what is the date and time of this call? Uh, June 6, 2015 at 5, 10 p.m. Okay. okay, I'm about to go look it up. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, you talked to Rashad. Yeah, I talked to him. I called him. Make sure he's good. Go check on your hot seat and all that. What do you say? Take care, keep going, put the money over there. You know what I'm saying, too? Yeah. You are the person with the gun. The person who would do anything. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah. I need to pull up my car and rent the house in the house. I do. I'll take it to my brother's house. What do you want? Huh? So you want me to go? Yeah. Uh, I got to, um, when I get back, I got to go get with a man because, you know, my uncle just got his death certificate back to the time. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I got it. the bank, um, they even turned down money back to get us another car like the money that we don't pay. Yeah. 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 Now, I know some of the words were kind of mumbled. When you listed a call, did you find anything of any evidence you found in that call? Yes. What was it? Uh, well, they stated something to the effect of wanting to move the car to the, like the auntie's address. And why was that important to you? <laughs> well, I mean, we're trying to, if, if I was trying to recover the vehicle, I didn't know where it's at to be recovered. Um, so that's giving me a potential address to try to go recover evidence. All right, let's listen to the call on June 6th at 22. <coughs> June 6th call, y'all.
And for the record, what is the date and time of the call? June 6, 2015 at 2213, so that's 1013 p.m. Charge is left. What did he do? Well, the, well, the, the uh, my car. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why? He parked it. Yeah, in the, it's in the garage. He, they brought it over on a. They brought it over on a tow truck. Uh, he said he needs to know how to get them minutes so you can call him. We, I'm gonna call him uh, when I got the phone. What time is that? It's, it's it's right after ten a.m. Uh, it's right after ten a.m. Right after ten eighteen. What time are you supposed to be off the phone? Ten fifteen, right? Nine, nine o'clock, they say tonight or 10.30. I'm in the car with Sean, and I'm going to call you back. I'm making my last call. Oh, okay. I'm late. Love you, too. Bye. Where's that call with Sean? Okay, hold on. I ain't saying your number in the phone. Huh? I ain't saying your What up, God? It was the word you doing, man. Appreciate that, brother. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to drop that out of there, too. You get what I'm saying, man? Remember, I can learn to. Oh, I guess so. Uh, it's three nine, Kyle. So, me. To go get it. Yeah. So, I don't get it. Uh, yeah, so, we go get it and whip it. I said, nah, I ain't going to whip it, but I'm going to do it that way. Yeah. 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 This call, um, was it significant for you in your investigation? It was. Why? They're now stating that the vehicle is in Auntie's garage at her address. And at this juncture, do you do anything with that information knowing that the car is in Auntie's garage? I do. What do you do? I authored a search warrant and proceeded to the Fulton County Magistrate Court and uh, applied for it and was granted a search warrant in reference to that vehicle at that location. Okay. I want to take you to uh, final call of June 6th. And for the record, what uh, was the date and time of that call? June 6th, 2015, 1958 hours. Okay. So... That would be 7.58 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dear Roscoe, you did what the mm -hmm. fuck I ain't doing mm -hmm. shit, man. Just holding it down. Just got to stay up with all these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go to um, court on the 16th or the 17th. But my lawyer, mm -hmm. what the lawyer say with you? They was going to try to get a bit of a they don't file for a motion. I'll just call the check on your hand. What you got going, baby? I don't want a motion to a show. Tell everybody, say what you motherfucking do. Hey, man, you won't believe this shit, dude. I grew up always on. You may got about 50 pieces of yak and Malik on that bump, man. Little young nigga. He got a picture with Yak. Hey, what little boy name? Man, little light skinned boy. He be with little Bell. Nothing. The polite skin. What that light skinned boy name with the dread? Peso. Yeah, Peso. Yeah, little young nigga. Yeah, we pipe up, man. They got the two. Huh? What say, bro? You understand? You understand? You dig what the fuck I'm saying? Hey, boy, you sure got the power on the lock. You a D-Fo. Rip it in here, boy. D-Fo, man. D-Fo, rip 
man, no bullshit, man. He ain't supposed to that little motherfucker ain't no jump, no gas slide. Oh, uh, man, they treat nigga like the Pope in here, man. Yeah, you know, your oh. main motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that ain't boo. That's your new butt. Oh, man, the whole joint. The whole joint. Look, that everybody got stars right here. Yeah, you know, we made the way, Slide. Yeah, hey, man. We still here. We ain't supposed to look your motherfucking head down here, man. No, we're gonna put up. We're gonna put up for the job. Yeah, they, 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 but I don't recall like, the, his real government name okay. at this point in time. Uh, did you hear the term for them discuss people slimed out? Yes. Did the course of your investigation, <laughs> did the word slime become significant? Yes. How? I'm, oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll sustain the form. You can rephrase it. Or you can lay it in the foundation. During the course of your investigation, did you learn of a gang called YSL? Yes. And did you, what was your understanding of what YSL stood for? Uh, this is, uh, any testimony that I don't believe that is 71472. Also, I'll But we're not. I'll overrule your objection, sir. I'll... You can have a continued objection, yes, sir. Yes, through the course of the investigation, and 
prior to this investigation, I knew what YSL was, um, and I knew it to be Young Slime Life. Proud. Right. And so when you heard the term of this call, this was a call that you pulled. Yes, it was. Did you make note of what they were speaking about inside of that call? Yes. And what was significant for you um, out of that call? So then, of course, the referencing the names, um, referencing multiple people with stars, five point stars, saying everyone in, in the jail, Cobb County is slime. Um, just referencing Yachty, Duke, I think I might have mentioned that. Um, and then someone having a YSL tattoo on their back. Um, yeah, that was just a number of the things that I, that I heard. Did you hear a portion of the call where the individual yet gets on the phone and tells someone to roll out the red carpet for Ross? Yes.